How important is it to raise awareness about climate change all across Africa and particularly in the countries that that caravan or those caravan visited? Well, it, it was a, quite a, a big job, uh, trying especially to fundraise, uh, to be able to get uh, uh, to support this group coming. Uh, also, uh, we are very pleased uh, we have uh, quite a number of uh, supporters who came to our aid. And uh, it was not uh, a very simple thing, and uh, we do really uh, thank Paja uh, to have spearheaded this. And uh, Paja, we had been working with the uh, Kenya Climate Change Working Group and other partners in uh, many countries to organize for this uh, caravan, which is, we hope uh, it is a success. And although we're here at COP17 and all the big negotiators are a couple of hundred meters away in the, in the ICC, you were telling me your focus is really on um, adapting to climate change and dealing with climate change at a lower level. Tell me about why dealing with climate change in a city, town, village level is so important. Um, as you know very well that uh, climate change really impacts the community down at the grassroots level. Uh, these are the people who um, toil on the, uh, on the water, who are looking for firewood, who are really uh, impacted a lot by climate change. Talk about um, uh, an older lady who is in the village and uh, they don't have water, uh, they walk for many kilometers looking for water. And if we are not going to look at, uh, we are not going to take care of uh, our ecosystems, our water catchment areas, this particular lady is going to suffer a lot. You imagine that uh, in Africa, most of these communities will walk for almost like uh, even one full day looking for water. Uh, if we dry our ecosystem, I am expecting these communities will be walking for more than uh, two days looking for water leave alone even not taking care of the kids in terms of food, in terms of uh, ensuring that uh, uh, the, the children goes to school. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, you can imagine in uh, 20, 30, 40 years to come, if they are walking for two kilometers, then they'll be walking for about 100 kilometers looking for water. So that's why we are very much particular on uh, reaching the consensus on climate change in this conference. Sure, and you're from Kenya and you were telling me about the problems that Kenya faces. Give, me, give us an idea of, of the, the issues around climate change and Kenya. I know there's obviously been a, a famine and a drought in the Horn of Africa recently and that must have put pressure on Kenya's resources. Yeah, um, Kenya is uh, within uh, the Horn of Africa and uh, Kenya, almost like uh, over 80% of Kenya is arid and semi-arid, which means it's a dry rat area uh, where you get uh, a very big percentage of, uh, this country, uh, of this country being occupied by pastoralists. And pastoralists rely on uh, fodder, they rely on water for their livestock. They don't have any cash in the bank, uh, they rely on these animals. Uh, and you can imagine now the drought is the most severe climate change impact on these people. Uh, drought, uh, sometimes you get uh, flood water, and because of uh, rat degradations, uh, because of these animals and all that, you get these communities moving from one region to another. So we, we are talking about uh, conflict on uh, resources, we are talking about uh, diseases for animal uh, livestock, we are talking about uh, other impacts which are related to climate change. And what do countries like Kenya need? Is it, is it money? Is it advice? Is it education? Well, in Kenya we need a really uh, technological so far. Uh, we, are, we are looking at uh, maybe, uh, right now Kenya is developing what we are calling a, a strategic uh, investment framework, which is going to bring all the partners together to be able to uh, fundraise, uh, to bring money in one pocket uh, to address the issues of sustainable rad management, rad degradations and droughts. And uh, we are looking for this type of resources, and we are also looking for technology uh, in terms of uh, technology to, to, to the community level, uh, to even uh, other partners who are involved in uh, uh, working in the dry land areas. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much.